Hello, my name is Juan Castro. You are listening to Power Your Story, Season 3. A podcast from Ray Grant Training Center High School in Chicago. This season, our thing is standing up for what you believe, social justice, change, and making a difference. Thank you for listening. Peace. My name is Aaliyah Rich for Power Your Story Podcast. I'm here with... Oh, my name is Michaela Williams. Mario here. Caesar Brooks. This is Al from Power Your Story Podcast. With Moesha. And Carolyn. So what after school matters program you are part of? We are part of coding. Like coding for fun. Anyone who is not familiar with coding, can you describe what it is? Coding like basically like making your own website, like HTML, like hypertext marker language that way you make your own websites. Yeah. And here we are talking about Robeson High School's farewell. It's for less lack of students and not a lot of money involved. And they building a new building here. They can turn down Robeson and build a new building here. And I'm here with you and talking about what's your favorite moments in uh, Robeson? When I met my brothers. My brothers. Wow. I have a lot of favorite moments. But I think my favorite moment would be meeting my best friends. Like me and my best friends have the perfect relationship. Like they understand me. We finish each other's sentences. I feel like I'm married to them. So that would be my one of my goodest memories here. Uh, what you liked about the after school matters coding program? My favorite thing about it was, you know, actually putting the website together and, you know, putting all of the right content we need and like the colors and the, all of the paragraphs and stuff like that and uh, images that was my favorite part about it about after school matters you know since you know Pete is a great boss a great person so I just you know want to do after school matters again and stuff like that and continue you know anything else you ever uh, do like what program you um, are in I am in after school matters with um, my instructor P and you ever heard of the organization BAM? No. Well, BAM is becoming a man. So we only have a BAM group here. So I felt like we needed a girls like WOW because WOW is um, working on womanhood for girls, but they don't have WOW here. So I uh, created a group for females here. And every Tuesday, I meet up with the freshmen and the sophomores and I meet up with the juniors and the seniors and we talk about whatever they want to talk about. Um, yesterday, in one of my classes, we were um, talking about the statistic or the stereotype for African Americans. Like one of the um, issues or scenarios brought up was black people don't need to learn about business because they'd rather buy true religion and all those like other name brands. And I was like, that is not true because I'm African American. I would actually like to learn about business and marketing and all of that. So it was a real, how can I put this? Serious discussion yesterday. It was really serious. How do you feel about when school closes? I feel happy, but at the same time, I feel upset. Happy because I get a better education and I learn more things in a new environment, but upset because the people I had it brought me in, took me in as a friend and more than a friend, like a sister and all. We get to, we get to separate, but I'm hoping and praying that I still get to see them, but you never know what happens. I don't have much to say about it because I haven't been here for too long, but... What I could say is I feel bad for them closing the school down because people in the school formed actual close bonds and relationships with each other. And, you know, I feel bad about them having to leave and find new places like they're pushing the community away. And, you know, but at the same time, I don't feel that bad because at the same time, it's giving people better opportunities to get out and do better things instead of just staying here. To me, I feel like I feel broken in a way because I'm not like actually a, a people person you can say, but Robeson is just was like family, like just opened up to you and made you feel comfortable. And it's like they pulling us from a comfort zone. Yeah. Mm. Even though we had our ups and downs, what family don't. So, yeah. I feel like I know I'm going to miss it because my dream was to bring my future husband and my future kids here to show that I walked down these halls. I went to this classroom, this classroom. That was my teacher, you know, and like now I don't have that opportunity. Like I can't bring my husband here and say, oh, yeah, this was my 11th grade teacher. And I had a, 
amazing. Re- I have an re- amazing relationship with all of my teachers. So I just feel like I'm being stripped away from giving my kids something that I had. Well, I always feel like even if this school is like closing down and you always want to have memories here, you still have that memories in your mind, knowing you had um, teachers here that you're proud to tell them about. You had classes here, you had friends. And I always say just keep the memories of good things happen and um, just make sure you just like know to look for in life. Of course, but I still, I don't know. I I just, because my mom, my grandma, my great grandma, my uncle, like all of my family went here from my great, from my ancestors till now. So like my mom brought me up here to walk me through the halls to see this is the classrooms I went to. I can't do that for my future kids. And that's, I'm always, you're right. I'm always have the memories. I'm always, you know, tell them, oh, I had an AP English teacher name is Larry U. That was my favorite teacher. You know, I can always tell them that, but as in, as a kid, you're curious. Oh, I want to meet Miss Larry U. I want to see the school that you went to because that's how I was when my mom told me Miss Larry U was her favorite teacher. I was like, well, let me go meet Miss Larry. U. You know, and that's what I feel like I'm being stripped away of. I can always tell them, oh yeah, I went to Power Ups in high school, but they took our website down. That's why we created a new one in After School Matters. I don't know. I just feel like they don't care. Did it tell us thoughts on this stuff? It's kind of a bogus way of why we can closed down, but at the same time, I think we all deserve it to get closed down. We need a better education in the way it goes. So, yeah. Like, right now, I'm feeling uh, I'm pretty mad about the school closing because they're breaking a family up, and it's ridiculous how they're crushing everybody's hearts in this school. And you see how they do a construction construction outside, it disturbing us, disturbing the pizzas out the school. I'm sorry to hear that you feel up this way. Yeah, like it's, it's a lot of things going through my head right now. And they pretty petty for doing breaking up this family. Everybody got connections together. Like we got ups and down, but we still part of this family. And it's just ridiculous how they just they breaking our hearts. Yeah, just this is really terrible, but is there anything else you want to say? And what's your uh, future plans? My future plans would be to be successful um, and just strive for the best. And no matter what the circumstance may be, always rise above. Because there's always people looking at me and waiting for me to mess up so that they can laugh and put their own input on my life. So... That's like one of my, something that I'm looking up. I do want to go to college for psychology. I want to be either a marriage counselor, a psychologist, or a social worker. But I do know I want to work with people. I hope you reach your goal. Uh, What advice do you have for students that have to go to a new school? My advice would be is to be open. Relationship-wise, friendship-wise, go in there with an open mind and not oh my school closed down and I don't want to be here anyways go in there with an open mind because you just might like it I mean I know that they tore tore your school down but really be open to the fact that I'm in a new school I was forced to be in a new school that doesn't mean I'm not going to succeed and do what I have to do I'm going to do what I have to do and get out of here um, oh um, before we're able to close y'all y'all can um, y'all can show some love before the school closed so yeah I really am going to miss my Robeson family. Like, really. I've built bonds with from the janitors to the principal. Like, seriously. And it it's just, I don't know. It's just so weird to me. And, like, it makes me feel like I have to strive harder. Like, I've, I'm always striving, but I just feel like I have to strive even harder because I want to be the president one day. Like, I feel like I need to be in office. I need to make some of the exec- executive decisions because it's like, if I don't, who will at this point, you know? And I just want to be, I just want to honestly be great in my life and succeed. And I want to see my classmates, my peers, everybody. I just want to see everybody succeed, honestly. Thank you for coming into this interview. Thank you for having me. This is Al from Power Real Story Podcast. And thank you for listening. I'm Aaliyah Rich, signing out. 
This has been a presentation of the Power Your Story podcast. It's produced by students at Ray Graham Training Center High School in Chicago, Illinois. With the production support from After School Matters and the Creative Imposter Studios. Today's episode was produced by F. F. Berry. Aaliyah Rich. You can find our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play Music. Click on the web at www.powerhistorypodcast.com. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as Power Your Story Podcast. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. Turn up all the way. I got all the vibes. They don't know me. Teachers for us. I got all the rock. Turn up all the way.